Valorant is one of the more popular modern FPS shooters, but it can sometimes cause lags and stutters. My name is Adullah, you're watching Canada Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can fix Valorant stuttering in 2025. Well, uh, the first thing we're going to do is uh, update our GPU drivers. So depending on whether you have an NVIDIA, Intel or AMD GPU, you're going to have to use the particular utility. I have an NVIDIA GPU, so I'm just going to head over and launch the NVIDIA app. Once it opens up, head over to the driver section and then just click this squiggly line to check for updates. As you can see, I have the latest update installed and while you're at it, make sure that you're running game ready drivers and not studio drivers because game ready drivers, as the name suggests, provide the best gaming experience possible. Alright, great. Once this is taken care of, we're quickly going to head into graphics. Select Valorant from the list or if you don't see Valorant, you can uh, just refresh this list or add the program and go manually look for it. Alright, okay. So uh, if you're on Nvidia, the some value to you will be suggested for in-game settings, but we're not interested in that. What we are interested in are right here. So these settings. Uh, make sure that CUDA GPUs, uh, your NVIDIA GPU is selected and in the low latency mode, you can use off or ultra depending on how strong your CPU is. Then in here, instead of uh, maximum frame rate, select manual and just type in whatever the maximum refresh rate for your monitor is. Once you're done with uh, that, go ahead and click on apply. And that's it. Power management mode should also be set to prefer maximum performance. And VSync you can disable. It's not a very good thing. Unless you're getting a lot of stuttering and screen tearing, in which case you can try enabling it, provided you have a better CPU. Alright, once you're done setting up your graphics driver, uh, we can head back out and now it's time to disable a setting called hardware GPU scheduling. How to do this? Well, press the Windows key and search for graphics settings I'm going to open up the first option that appears now in here head over to advanced graphics settings this section and uh, you will see the hardware accelerated cpu scheduling option go ahead and toggle it off now you don't really need to do this if you have a relatively strong gpu but on some weaker gpus or cpus uh, this prob uh, this feature can essentially cause uh, a problem and then you have the reduced uh, optimization for windowed games we're not going to be running valorant in a windowed form so you can uh, ignore this for the most part but if you are going to in some way shape or form you can just turn this off as well windows optimizations uh, are not exactly the best thing that you can do to your game The next solution while you're in graphics settings is to go ahead and check if your game is running on the dedicated GPU. So as you can see, all of my uh, games are here and if I scroll down this list, I will find Valorant. Uh, let me click to expand it and as you can see, the GPU preference is automatically set to high performance. That may not be the case for you. So you can click on this menu and manually select your GPU from this list. Uh, if you don't see Valorant in this list, you can go ahead and click on add desktop app because you know we're manually installing. If you're doing this for a Microsoft app, you can do it from the store menu as well. But click on add desktop app and then you can go ahead and find the executable file for Valorant wherever you've installed it. Next up, it's important to check if your PC is using the high performance power plan, uh, especially if you're on a laptop. Now, uh, how does this work? So you press the start menu and search for choose a power plan. Click on the first setting that appears. And as you can see here, I only have one power plan, which is balanced. So how do I put it into high performance mode? Well, on my laptop, that setting is managed via the HP Omen Gaming Hub. On your laptop, it could be an MSI or an ASUS. There must be a utility software that allows you to control the laptop's power modes. So we are going to go ahead and fire up Omen Gaming Hub here. And once it's fired up, if I head over to my laptop, go to performance control, uh, you can see that uh, the high performance mode is already enabled and well, good to go. Um, if this is on balanced or even worse, eco, just 
plug your laptop in switch it to high performance and then try playing a game you will have a much much better experience all right now we move on to some valorant settings so let me fire up the game real quick all right once you are in the game click on the top right corner and then click on settings now in here we are going to video and the first thing we're going to do is change the display mode to full screen then um, you will see your uh, resolution make sure that's set to your monitor's native resolution and uh, now you have a certain fps limit so limit fps and menus off limit fps and background actually you can leave that on and then uh, limit fps always just turn that setting off you can enable it but make sure that your fps is set to 144 or whatever is your uh, monitor's refresh rate so if i set it to 144 limited um, well then we should be good to go uh, once again nvidia uh, reflects low latency you can leave it on if you have a good cpu otherwise you can just ignore it then we head over to graphics quality uh in here enable multi-threaded rendering uh disable v-sync and uh kind of just turn all the settings slightly lower like if you're playing on high try playing on medium uh and of course if you go all the way to low you should be leaving enough headroom for your uh, game to in uh, to run properly now uh, another thing that you need to check is in the general menu and if you come down here scroll all the way down to network buffering uh, as you can see i have this set to minimum but if you set this to a higher rate you will essentially be able to protect yourself against poor networking conditions like packet loss ping spikes lag spikes and what the feature does is that it saves enough of a buffer to make sure your game runs properly you can set this to moderate um or even maximum if that doesn't help so you're going to have to play around with this setting to see which one works best for you and uh, that's that that's all for your in-game valorant settings one last thing before i close this video off is to check for a windows update it's absolutely important for windows to be up to date regardless of what you're doing on your system how do we do this press windows key plus i to open up windows settings and head over to the windows update section at the very end as you can see i am up to date but you can click on the check for update buttons to make sure that you're on the latest updates if you find anything install it uh, restart your system and you should be good to go if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website canton.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video